Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Uriah from Xbit Music and today we are going to talk about the whole interface of Cubase. Let's get started. Open a new project and let's say create empty. So let's say you open your Cubase for the first time and um, you don't know what to do with it. Now we'll start from top, from top, from this very section. From the file you know when you click on the file you can you can get a new project if you want to start with cubase um, you can get a new project over there and then also there is a new library now what new project does is if you want to create a new project a new project like a fresh project you just click on create new project and then you should get an you should you should get this pop-up on your screen recent projects you know older projects you know what you've done already uh, this they are saved here automatically and then you've got a recording they are all presets in the lesson one I elaborated on on the section of, of, of Cubase so I wouldn't go deep into it yeah so let me just close the section and then let's say you you go on file now these are the function that, uh, what is happening you, you have your new project that's where you create your new project new library new library is let's say if, if you have a if you want to save your project in the particular lab, library you understand if you want to give your your whole project into a whole uh, into a folder you know into a different folder that is where you you do that you do that um yeah and then also what this does is open and close you know if you want to open a fresh project if you want to open an, an existing project you can also go to open and also open it if you want to open a whole library you can also go and open library you know these are just normal and save close if you want to close you can also close with this section there is a close sign also over here. You can close, you can close it here. If you want to save your project, you can save it by Control S. Control S is also the shortcut for it. I'll be talking about the all the shortcuts in Cubase in my next lesson. And then save us, you know, you can save us a different file. You know, it's just a normal computer language. And uh, I think if you want to go into this, you already know all this stuff already. So save new version. You can save a new version of your project. You know, you can save a newer version of it and maybe name it somewhere. Probably if you are working on, on, on the song and you end up making a mistake or whatever, you know, you can just go there and uh, save a new version so you can have a new, a brand new version of the project you are in. Revert is, you know, revert as the sound. So you, I hope you understand reverts, yeah. And then page setup, you can also set up your page, print, you know, import. You can import audio files, track, archive, track from project, audio, CD, video file. If you want to export your files, you can just export your files by going to audio mix down. Save your project as a template, you can also save it as a template. And then your recent project also comes up, pops up over here. You know, your, your, your recent project also pops up over here. Yeah. So basically, that is, that is what it is and then that is the the file section now when we go on the edit section on edit section when we get to edit you can see the functions you know there are functions there are functions paste that original you know related to cursor duplicate is control d you know repeat is control k and duplicate is control d and file loop you know and 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 render in place if you want to run so you know what i like to do is whilst we work you know you, you are going to really understand how to apply all this all these functions you know explain the function itself is okay you, you could understand it but whilst we work whilst you go through the tutorial you're going to understand all the functions by the end of the course so i think uh, this is just a overview of of the functions in cubase yeah and then there is also a range selection that's to select a range, you know, if you want to delete some particular range of the session, you can just use the range tool to select your range. And also, select always control A, and then select none and control shift A. These are all con uh, normal uh, IT shortcuts, you know, invert is control alt I, and then in loop from start to cursor, you know, so this is a selection tool, you know, you can select from the start to the cursor, you can also it's, a, it's 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 just a normal uh, so i'll be going deep into it in the in the lesson and i think you guys will, will really love it quantize panel this way you go quantize panel when you click it so let me just bring it up here 
you know so this is where you, you can set up your quantize you know uh, if, if let's say uh, um, you are in one system you can also change it to one one over 128 sometimes i use it you know sometimes when the quantize is very you know it, it doesn't really work one 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 twenty eight is very very good you know for just a little shift you know in quantization this this tool is is very very uh, necessary and, and very very helpful as, as well so you could use it to quantize and uh, when you that is the edit we are still on the edit button i think we, we are still on edit uh we're on quantize yeah and then q is quantize in my previous lesson i spoke about that i elaborated on that and uh, advanced quantize also you can also set up advanced quantize and uh you know that's it and move to and group on group lock you know mute on mute glue you know glue all these tools are already in the in the tool panel so we'll be going through that to zoom in and out you know it's h and g so they are the short that's the short shortcut for zooming and uh, these are things you'll be you'll be needing in in you know whilst we work and then the key commands also this is where you get all the key commands you get all your key commands over here so let's say if you want to you want to get a key command or even change the key command you can change it edit it yourself you know track is t so automatically when you go on t you should get a new track we'll be learning those things those shortcuts as well and so this is basically this is what this these are the key commands and as in the hot keys you can put it that way as in the hot keys in cubase and uh when you go to the section for analyzing you know, or their grouping folders so you can a spectrum analyzer uh, you can also assign a hotkey to it you know at the moment it's not assigned to any hotkey but you can assign a hotkey uh, to to the spectrum analyzer as well and you can assign hotkeys to most of the things you know there are some by default by default there are hotkeys assigned to it and some of them they are, they are, there is no hotkey assigned to it so you can say okay maybe your 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 add uh, your arrange you want to assign the key to it you know and so you can just go in here um you know so you can assign your key to whatever you you you, you want to do now we wouldn't go in there because that we are we are concentrating on the production section and also getting the basis right you know so so that the advanced things will come whilst we get into the course because the moment we start learning advanced things in the in the uh, in the beginning of the course it makes things complicated and you know you get more confused so i, I think uh we'll leave this section i just wanted you to know that there is a, there is a possibility of you know assigning your own hot keys if you are used to particular keys you can assign them to it as well okay so let me just close this section we are still on edit and um okay yeah key commands and the preference you know in the preference section um it happens on the other screen i have to bring it here the preference is you know we can use this preference to change our colors of this of the of the track track type color you know you can just extract the track type default color the mixer console folder folders color you know you can change all the colors here you can change it here you know and, uh, and assign it by clicking this session you can just assign the color to it you know and uh, change the look of things in the interface user interface track type default color you know so this is where you do that also and um you know they are just normal audio routing midi routing and all that chords you know you, you editing your chords controls these are our preferences. They are, they are, they are just like let's say like settings. Let me put it that way. Yeah. So it's, it's it's something like that, and you can, you know, tweak things to your taste. You can tweak things to your taste, as in how you want things to to look like and how you want things to to show up. Yeah, I'll be doing tutorials on all the functions, as in dive deep into the functions uh, one by one, so that we we don't get ourselves confused. And I don't want this video to be so long because the moment it gets longer, it gets very boring as well. And you know, the, you don't get the edge to really learn or you, you, you just give up. <laughs> yeah, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so let's move from edit and then let's go to, okay, so let's go to the projects. So add tracks, you know, in my previous lesson, I showed you how you can add it from the top here, add tracks and then add audio, audio audio is for vocal for guitar anything that has to do with audio 
you know that's where you select this you choose audio add audio track and then you should you are good to go and then you can add an instrument track also so let's say to add an audio track i, I think we, we elaborated on it in our previous lesson i think yeah we did that in our previous lesson yeah so you can choose a voice or you can choose a guitar you can choose your guitar as well you know and um we did that in the in the previous lesson so i didn't go into it and and also this is where you add yeah so add tracks so this is where you add your track if it's an instrument track an instrument track is a vst track you know it's a vst it's a midi instrument yeah so when you select add instrument track you just go to this section and then choose the instrument you like to be using so let's say if you want to use let's say, let, me, let me just go to the key uh cubase let's say if you want to use helion i'm using helion because i believe everybody have got helion on on on, on this is why a pc so you this how it is where this how this how you choose helion it happens over here i have to bring it here yeah so this is how you choose helion and then you are, you have helion and the moment you have helion it should appear also on the right section this is vst in the right section you could see vst in your shop that's vst and that is the media you know and then that is the control room and that is the meter as well yes so you always make sure when it's on vst you can see your, your vst channels as in see the, the whole vst rack and what is happening inside the rack track by track yeah so this is a vst instrument and then the point is the vst instrument have got its own stereo out it's like um you can you can select multiple vst instruments if you, your, your pc have the capacity to hold them you know because it's, it also takes a lot of processing power and then if you have to select all and that's why sometimes you have to route it at you have to get different media output running through just one vst instrument and then you, you select outputs so you can work on it on in this way in this way you save your computer your, your pc from a lot of stress yes so that this is the section for for the for the midi uh sorry for the vst instrument yes so we are still on projects and then add and let's say midi so this is a midi uh so this is where you add your midi you can just add midi just by right clicking on this section you have everything up there coming down here so it's the same process it's the same process i'll be diving deep into the sampler and how to use it as well if you want to route effect i'm using the default key based uh vst plugins here so this is this is let's say this is reverence and then it's an fx track so you can assign it to to each track let's say if i want it on my uh, i'm playing a keyboard or let's say let's assume that you are playing uh let's say this is helion uh, okay so let me choose a tone in helion and then play it this uh piano let's say e piano and we want to add the we want to add our fx to it yeah so what you do is uh because you've already selected the fx as fx1 as reverence you just go on this section the send and then you can just get your reverence here so the moment you add reverence to it if, if you have already set it up you know you're going to have it over here and uh, they should apply to, to the to the sound So I think you can have a feel of, of how the reverb is working over here. So without the reverb and with the reverb, so let's with the reverb. Just with the reverb. Without a reverb. With the reverb. So you know that is the that is what the effect sends, uh, the effects does okay and the group is also to group your your project let's say if you want to group your your midi instrument provided you've selected you've done your you've routed your outputs just like in my previous uh, uh tutorial you know so you can group your channels let's say if you want to get your it's, it's like in pro tools it's, it is called a bus 
you know you can use it like it can say a bars or something like that so this is the group channel you can group your drums so you have one particular fader for the main out of the drums and you can also route it to to the main outs of the of the of the of the project so you can have you can group your drums group your keys group your guitars you know group your vocals you know so this is where you group you group them and then by grouping you just have to go to you go on mono uh, stereo make sure that groups they are always on, on stereo it's better to when a group is on the stereo track i like it that way let me just demonstrate this if i go on group group inside folder and name, name it like let's say my keys keys group and then i go on add let's see what happens over here i think this is inside the folder yeah so you are going to get a group channel here and you can also do automate the whole group channel if 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 it's if you wish to automate you can also do that you know to make the group channel and then also if you want to you are still on the add track so if you if you go on project add track and group and this is inside the folder so let's let's choose outside the folder and also see how outside the folder works you know so let's name it let's say keys keys group keys group two you know yes so this is this group is outside the, the, the folder you know the group track itself i've got the folder so you can group all the tracks in a particular folder so you have your group as in your group uh, folder for for every every track group that is every bass you know so let's say if you have got a vocal bass you've got a, your drum bass maybe your keyboard bass your you know so they are all in yeah, they all fall in, in the folder but if you want it outside of that group that particular group folder if you want it outside of this group folder then uh, that is how it is going to look like you know there's a folder here and this one we created it inside the folder and this one is outside the folder so you can see that when i close this folder this very one is going to close if i close this folder yeah you can see it but this one is independent and it's outside of the group folder so it is so i hope you i hope you get my get you get me yeah it's a video so you can just repeat it and you know also if you don't really understand something you can just uh, repeat it and then go backwards and you know um you're, you're good to go okay the folder is if you want to create a folder if you want to group all your audio tracks in one folder you know this is where you do it you just go on folder and name it let's say my 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 guitar and you can choose the number of counts you want if 10 times you can okay let's, let's say i'm doing five times of guitar of five times of guitar i just add my guitars here and the moment if you want them to come into this folder you just have to shift if you want them to appear on this folder you just go on shift shift and select it sorry shift and select this track make sure you exclude the folder uh, the the, v, the vca we don't need this for, yeah so you just move it like this straight up into this folder and the moment you see this arrow sign showing this green arrow this green arrow sorry this green arrow you just leave it and it automatically goes into this folder so you have your guitar folder you can get your vocal folder you know it's your folders you know, it makes the work very very simple i've got it i can demonstrate it here for you to have a look at it and bring this project for you to watch yeah so you see in this project in this project as a tutorial i've got my percussion folder it's a, it's a it's a preset i made uh, a template i made you know there is a percussion folder as well over here you can your short you can see so the moment i go on keys i close all my keys you know they are in a folder it, it keeps your work very very organized yes and then you can also say this is my drum folder so when the moment i close this folder over here this is my drum folder the moment i close this folder my whole drum is my whole drum is, is close you know it keeps the work very very simple this is my percussion folder in your shorts you know the moment i open it up you can see there are a lot of things under it yeah the moment i close it up all these things goes off you know so it keeps you very well organized and uh, it keeps your work very very simple as well so this is my horns folder my bass folder my guitar folder you know if i want to this is our guitar folder you know so they are all folders and this is my back end vocals folder you know and so that's how the folder that's how the folder works but if you are working with um, a particular length or whatever it is you can use the ruler to guide yourself and uh, also do that you know you can add a ruler track and you can guide yourself 
in centimeters or whatever it depends on what you are using cubase cubase can be used for a lot of things so it depends on what you are using it for markers now what this markers does is, let's say if i want to mark if you want to mark this section of, of the project let's say your chorus so if i want to set my chorus and say chorus this is chorus i'm going to use a maybe i want to use it once i just go on chorus and i've got a marker for chorus yes so the moment you go on plus you can go to this section and so hit this section you know and you are good to go it, it, will, it will automatically mark where you're working so i like to put most of the time i like it to put it up here to be the first section of my of my project you know so the moment it is on the on the top it helps me because i can see that okay from here to from this side to this side is my chorus the moment you want to play on the chorus you just click on it and then it will move you to that section for you to play so that, that, that is the the the, the, um, the essence of of this markers you know and, and uh, yeah if you want to use it you can also use it yeah yeah so there are a lot of things sign signature the tempo so this is the arranger tool the chord tool the signature tool the tempo you know you can change the tempo by just clicking on this this and then you should have a tempo track you know so you can decide to change the tempo let's say okay this music should be playing as 100 when it gets to this point let's say from the start so you, you just automate the tempo it's just like automating the tempo changing the tempos at various points you know so that's the tempo track so let's say i want to use this start playing from 100 but the moment i get to i'm playing from 100 from here the moment i get here i want to slow the tempo down from here so let's say i want to change the tempo from this side so so the point is uh you know the moment you start playing from here when you get to this section of the of the song you can see that from your shot the tempo number just changed to 75 bpm current tempo the moment you go on this section you can see that it has changed to 100 yeah so let me just demonstrate by playing it and then you hear you see how it sounds Now you can also use this function um, to, you know, for especially for ending the track or something like that. Sometimes, you know, where the band plays, they like to end it, change the, um, end it at a very slow pace, you know, by, by ending. Sometimes you can, tr you can just, uh, by changing from one song to another, you know, you can also use this tempo uh, track. So that is the use of the, of the tempo track. That's the use of the tempo track, yeah. So, so you know, the transposition track also work, work just like the tempo track, you know, but in this case, it's transposing the, the song to the next um, key, yeah, the signature uh, from, that is a time signature from a 4-4 four, four count, maybe a 6-8, if you're playing a 6-8, a 4-4 four, four, from 4-4 four, four to 6-8, you can just do that switch in, uh, in signature. This tool is also very, very helpful for that. Okay, so let me just also go back to, we are still in a, um, in a track you know there are a lot of things in it and then the video also there's a video session if you want to do film scoring or something like that with cubase you can just uh, import a video and this is where you see your video you know the moment you add a video track you can just by clicking by dragging the video into the project can also work fine and then it will import the audio and the video as well so you can be watching the video whilst you score with cubase you know it does a lot of cool things okay customize the selected track sorry it's happened on the other screen i'll have to pick it up here and bring it back yes so this is a customization color you can use it to customize your you know your your your, your track you can set the default uh, default color you can set they say when you choose this one you can set it as set track color to default so anytime you click on that particular track you know you you have that color you so you, you chose yeah myself i don't use so it depends on what you're using cubase for and then the purpose of your your production you know there are some things you don't need you, need, you know the extra yeah so this is a tempo track yeah again this is a tempo track and you can you can you can use the tempo track to change the the tempos you know switch it up move it up bring it down you know it's more for composition and for more of scoring kind of thing you know sometimes the mood changes and you have to bring it down and orchestra kind of thing 
they really use it very very well they like using a tempo track so you can just or like automation you can just move the tempo here by just clicking and dragging you know you can change the tempo bring it down you know automate it do whatever you want to do with the track at every section at every 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 uh, beat or bar you can change the tempo move it up you know the notepad you can keep note of your stuff as well you know if you want to write something down the project setup itself that's where you get your sorry it happened here i have to bring it back you know this is where you get your maybe or you can set your project to a duration let's say uh, from zero to like one minute or two minutes depending on what you're working on if you're doing a, a commercial kind of soundtrack or something like that you have some time frame and where you want to get your things done as in how long so you can put the name of the author ownership the company you know and uh, and and other project settings yeah so stereo pan law law that is equal equal power i always keep it at equal power so that i can you know no and the maximum volume is plus this 60 db you know these are all setups this is system setup and then this is the project frame rate 30 frames per second um if you are doing 24 frames per second that's with video or something like that you can also choose this as well you know and uh, so this is a normal setup yeah this is a recording file format uh, I'm, for now i'm doing 44100 kilohertz at a bit rate of 24 and the record file tab is, is wave so you can choose mp3 uh, sorry you can choose different wave file uh, file format to record your project that is your preference but everybody most of the time you have to use wave you know so i think this is what it does let's move on straight to this is a for, for all your midi you know if you need anything related to midi this is it and then this is your your scores you know your function for scoring and all that your media bay your media poll you know and all that you got everything here you can import file into the project by using the imports you know these are all basic things you can just you know try and see the function as in what it does by yourself the studio is for your mixer in, in the cubase 10.5 there they have you got um, three different type of mix mixer console mix console the f3 that's the normal one you got the, the other one you know that happens in there you can have one window just like i have over here you see if i want to get a mixer i just go on this i just click here click here and then the mixer will show automatically you know if it doesn't show you just go down here you go down here and this is mixer and you should get a mixer here you know so there are different type of mixes on on, on this on this very cubase section that is a studio the mixer the mix console in project window you know that's a this, this is a mix console in project media so it's an alt plus plus f3 and this is a vst plugin manager so it manages all the vst plugins as in the third party plugins you know you got on the on your machine everything is in here yeah so you can manage everything by using this one so f11 brings you to the vst instrument and the point is it's the same thing at this session now it is made very simple so you get it here at vst you know you get it here at vst it's the same thing you're going to get it over here so if you're using qbs 10.5 you don't really need that and then we also go straight to the audio performance here so the audio performance is here it's just like a meter you can put it down and then see how your audio is performing in rewire is also to so let's say you want to use a third party uh plugin like a vst like uh it's not a vst kind of but it's a whole workstation you can especially you can you can use i used to use um what is reason i used to rewire reason to my cubase you know back in the days i don't really need reason this time you know but i used to do that so that you, you rewire by using two two different dials at the same time you know in one project yeah function of the rewire and the studio setup is is a, is a setup option for all your vst you know to for your 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 chord parts your your midi sport setup you know your track quick control you know your transport you know this is just a host is a whole setup kind of thing to help you set everything up you know set things up this is where you select your ico driver and all that you know yeah so you, it helps you set up things and and you know it makes you just uh you know set up your work your workflow for for the vst especially when you're using a different sound card 
you just where you are going to select your your sound card as you the object selection tool your range tool your your your, your you can draw the midi with this tool you can also erase you know with this tool if you want to draw you just double click you select the selection tool first and then make sure you open the midi and then just go and draw and you can draw your midi so we've got the same tool also over here we've got the same tool over here so you can just click on this section and just draw whatever you want to draw you know Especially for those who don't know how to play keyboard so you can just use them use this to 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 draw and then this is uh, to erase what you've done to cut to glue you know and uh, to mute to zoom in the moment the grid sign this goes off the snap tool goes off you know you can't you can be moving things around but they will not fall on the grid the grid are this line this vertical lines you know these very vertical lines they are the 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 grid so the moment you turn it on you know everything will fall on the grid you can cut on the grid you know you can cut and everything will be on time you know it makes you make your work very very cool so you can also select a section let's say you select this section let's say this section and then transpose it you can transpose this section so this will play differently you can see that this is playing a different key and that is playing a different key here so this is this is playing i think uh it's playing uh g sharp you know g sharp can do so so many cool things with it you know especially if you don't know how to play keyboards you can be playing around it to your, your your modulations and all that with this uh it's a very cool tool in the midi section that helps a lot yeah so those are those are the things here and then the moment you select it you select your midi you've got so many options here you know you can set, set your time your start point you know you can mute it you can lock that particular midi you can go on global uh transpose you know you can you can check the velocity here you know you can also check check the root key you know you can set your root key to this particular what is highlighted is, is what is affected that's what you have to take note if that is highlighted that is what is going to be affected yes the moment you click this you should get your your screen like this you, you're going to get your screen like this okay let me just put everything off so you see how it is by default yeah so this is how it is without putting anything on from this section is actually how your work, work uh, workspace is going to look like so when i click on this you, you see that there is a line that you see that i've got all my tracks and um, they are functions as well the the core the equalizer everything uh, the same is the faders control quick control in this section if you want to this is the, how the the old cubase version looked like this is how it looked the workspace as in the whole workspace that that was how it was looking at looking like in in previous years now if you want to if you want to add this um, show hide or lower zone if you want to hide if you want to show the lower zone you just click on this section we click there and then you show the lower zone so you can edit your midi here you can be working on the midi here from this section you know you can be working on your midi over here and also be listening to your track here if you are you have got some vocals you know the more you click on it you have your midi here and it makes the work flow very very simple so you can be editing your midi at the same time working on uh we're checking what is going on in your track so if you don't have a double monitor or something like that you can still use one monitor and you're going to achieve everything and and, and that is it and the moment you click on this section also the moment you click on this section you, you're going to get a look like this you know that's why you are going to get your vst your media bay you know your control room and your meter so let's say if you 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 like the look this way you like to you know you can get a meter this way exactly and the vsts that's where you are you're going to get all your vst instruments and um that is also cool and it helps the whole process it makes things the, the workflow very simple there's a media bay so in this section you can get all your you can let's say if you have some tracks on your pc you can just go on this side you know so if you've got an audio track you know let's use this audio tracks for it for example you can just move the sample here 
you know and uh, happens on here you get a screen and you just go on okay there's a copy projects folder just go okay and then you have your sample here so you can be working on the sample you know you can be working on the sample you can cut it you know you can let's say this is a sample you're working on you can cut it you can do whatever you want to do with it you know this is a cutting tool you can just cut it cut the sample let me say stretch it this way duplicate this you know so it plays like something like this you know so it plays like this for you you know you can do a lot of cool things with it so that is that is the the use of this this uh, media b and uh, that's it yeah so this way you have your vst instruments lining up you guys can text take your input here output here activate act output here by this section the moment you go and activate all output everything is going to activate you know and then remember that the moment you don't see something here you can just go on window you can just right click this session you understand you right click there and then you can show everything constant delay compensation media and mixer console window you can show it you know in my case i don't need it yeah you know so you can show everything all the things you want to show you just right click here and you can check every every window you want to see and then they are going to appear for you and you can also set uh, show all you can set, select show all and you can show everything as well yeah so that is what that is uh what we have at the moment and then in this section also this is where you pan this is where this is your vault this is your level this is where you pan you can pan left by panning this way and panning that way yeah so i'll keep it on the center i think those into production though the pan uh -huh. and also this 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 is the stereo out you can choose route this particular audio track to a group or to just the main out you know yeah and there's a track version and all that yeah so there are a lot of things in, in cubase and uh, i think i think those into product now the mixer so you can go on your editor this is the editor section down here there's a mixer and when you click here you get your mixer you get your editor you get your sample control sampler control and your chord parts and then also uh do a seventh of a g seventh over here so i can play something like this So those who don't know how to play keyboards, you can. Yeah. I can do an F major. F major, just not to keep things simple over here. You can do F major. And I can start the cycle again. I can start the cycle again. Also the transport section. This is the, this is this, this section yeah this is what you um, um this is the left locator position and then the, this is the the right locator position yeah and then this is uh to you know activate cycle now cycle you can also use the the number the the the, the stroke sign on on the number key to, to the stroke side on the number key to do that and then you can also this is your your stop this is your stop this is your play And then this is your trans, uh, your record button, and this is your uh, your clock. You can set particular time frame your know, for your project. This is your tempo. You can change the tempo here. That is the BPM. That is the speed. Uh, the tempo of the song. You can also change it here. 
and then this also activates the metronome so if you, you don't have to see this for metronome you can just activate the metronome by just clicking here and as you play the moment you want to click it you know the metronome goes off basically this is what you have in cubase and um i hope it helps you with your production and um, i'm very very happy to come your way once again with you with this tutorial so i hope this this tutorial helps you and um, you know brings you forward in your in your production career yeah i'm very very happy to come here once again my name is shiwaya from expert music and uh, i'll say that i'll be very very happy if you could subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification so that anytime i come on here you know we can have a vibe and uh, learn production and you know learn all the tricks in production yeah my name is Uriah from X with Music and today I'm very very grateful to come your way and I thank you so much for being with me. Best regards and I hope to see you again.